Hi, this is Bill Aaron with Engineered Corrosion Solutions. And today we have some exciting news. The latest addition of our family of corrosion mitigation equipment, the ECS Advanced IQ Vent Controller, AVC-1. The AVC-1 can control and monitor six sprinkler systems from a single control panel. From a monitoring standpoint, it will monitor the pressure as well as the nitrogen purity within that sprinkler system. It will also store that information in the historical data storage. From a control standpoint, it will automatically control the venting of the sprinkler system until the system reaches the 98% purity range to mitigate all of the corrosion activity within your sprinkler system. Because of ECS's patented fill and purge breathing process, all of the equipment is installed in the riser room, the vents, as well as the AVC controller. This eliminates having any of the equipment in any water sensitive areas or in the customer space. So now let's look at the installation of the AVC-1. Installing the AVC-1 is really a simple installation. We mount it to the wall. We have two connections to mount it to the wall at the top. We have two connections to mount it to the wall at the bottom. We bring in the 120 volt power. It is recommended that you install the AVC-1 40 feet or less from the furthest sprinkler system in that riser room. And of course, because of ECS's patented fill and purge process, all the equipment is installed in the riser room. Once the AVC has been installed, then all we have to do is connect the AVC to the vent. So we connect our flexible hose from the appropriate location of the vent, and then we connect it to the sprinkler system vent on the riser. Now, if you have an existing system where you already have the PAVD vents installed, it's easy to reconfigure the vents for use with the AVC-1. What you have to do is remove the muffler, which is installed after the orifice on the vent, and at that point, then install a push fitting in that location. Once that's complete, all you have to do is start it up and connect the hose. Now, remember, the ball valve on the PAVD needs to be in the open position. The only time it should be closed is when you do servicing because the AVC-1 will monitor and control this sprinkler system. So make sure this is in the open position. Now that we've got it installed, let's look at programming the AVC-1. The AVC-1 is really very easy to program. What you need to do is once you've determined the number of sprinkler systems connected to it and the custom messages associated with those sprinkler systems, we can program in the labels for each one of those. By doing that, we're going to press the System Settings button. From there, we're going to start with the first system. We're going to depress the label, which is going to bring up a keyboard. We can enter in the custom label for that zone, then press the Enter key. If you have additional systems, two, three, four, five, etc., you would press the Activate button, followed by the label, followed by putting the custom message in for that zone. Once you've completed all that, we just hit the home button, takes us back to the main screen. At that point, we determine whether or not we want to monitor only these sprinkler systems or if we want to start the venting process. To do the monitoring only, press the begin monitoring button. If we're going to vent the systems, we need to decide if we're going to vent all the systems or just a single or a group of the systems. If you're going to vent all of them, press the Vent All button. If you're going to uh, vent just a single system, press the Vent Single System button. At that point, it starts the venting process automatically, and once it reaches 98% pure nitrogen into the sprinkler system, it will automatically stop the venting process. Now let's take a look at the subzone information, the actual information that's available for each one of these zones. From the main screen, you have the pressure and the purity for each sprinkler system individually. 
However, should you want to look at this at a more detailed space, you can press either the pressure or the purity screens and go to the subscreen for that zone where you're going to have a graph of the purity and the pressure along with the digital readouts of the pressure and the purity. This is the location where you can check the historical data. Press the historical data, which brings up all the historical information. Once you've completed the review of the information for each specific zone, you can either use the back screen to go to the previous zone or the next screen to go to the next zone in the line. When you're ready, press the home key, takes you back to the main screen, and let the AVC1 start automatically monitoring and controlling your sprinkler systems. For more information on the AVC1, as well as ECS's entire product line of corrosion mitigation equipment, please contact us at ecscorrosion.com. I thank you, and if there's anything we can do, please let us know.